Hello, YouTube family. Auntie is here. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture. I know. I'm late. It's, it was an extremely busy work day, and I had to go on site to do some filming. It was it was a lot, but I'm here, and we have so much to talk about. It's not cute not knowing, and now you're going to know. Come on, we need this hug. Wait, and an extra hug for baby face. How do you disrespect baby face? He is one of the, the nicest men. And a lot of people, they undervalue him. The songs he's written. I mean, baby face is the man. He's quiet, but baby face is the man. Last night, he and Anita Baker were scheduled to perform at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Something happened where the show was two and a half hours late. When Anita appeared, she informed him he would not be performing. Now, if you were going to be late, you should just let Babyface go on first. He was going on first anyway. They said that Babyface couldn't perform because she had to perform her entire show. So Babyface couldn't perform. Babyface was told... Give Miss Baker her space. This is what they say in the baby face. Now, I have a very good friend who was at this concert. And he's going to show me the footage. He's a guy that goes to concerts and stuff all the time. He said that Anita Baker was limping. Is she having a problem with her hip or a knee? But she was limping. She was slurring her words and yelling at her sound crew the entire night. I've been to one of them concerts where she's been yelling at sound crew. People get tired of that. It's just, it's just, it's extra. And people do. People get tired of that. Babyface went to social media to say he's sorry to his fans, but he wasn't allowed to perform because he had to give Miss Baker her space. There's an old saying. If someone shows you who they are the first time, believe them. Back in 2006, Babyface had to sue Anita Baker. He did work for her and she didn't pay him. He kind of knew what he was dealing with when this all started. But to do that to a baby face, if you were late or whatever was going on, you could have let him go on and do his thing. Because trust me, baby face with all his songs and hits, he going to give you a good two hours. You ain't got to worry about it. Somewhere Luther Vandross is looking down saying, hmm. Because you know, when they toured, it was always a problem. Anita Baker probably needs to tour by herself. Don't be going on tour with people because there's always an issue. Just go tour by yourself. Do your songs and do your thing. But for Babyface, there has been a backlash with people noting times at Anita Baker shows. Other artists are like, Babyface, don't you worry about it. Go on tour with me. Years ago, I had dinner with Anita Baker. I interviewed her. She was doing a short show in Philly. And she says, oh, you got to come back. I say hi. Ah. So I did. And, you know, she invited us to sit down and, and eat. But I was so afraid because I said, which Anita are we getting? We getting the nice one or well, the one that's... She was very nice. She was very nice. But wait, I was still nervous to eat and eat a little stuff like this because I didn't, I didn't want the, the personality to change. We just wanted her to stay nice. I have been wanting, I'm still going to try to go, I hope, to see her when she comes to Atlantic City in November around Thanksgiving. But these antics are not new from Anita Baker and other artists. But I hope she gives Babyface an apology. Now, I'm hearing it. They're not giving the money back. So, a lot of people want their money back. They say, uh-uh, this is half a show. But I'm hearing that as of this moment, they're not getting their money back. All week long, 
I've been talking about Frankie Beverly, the band Maze, then left and formed their own band. Over the weekend, when Frankie performed at the New Orleans Jazz Festival, he's performing with a band he put together. Because he split with Jubu and Rome in February. Well, now I'm hearing Frankie is adamant he is not retiring. And he's going to sue them for the name. They're going to have to come up with some kind of name. I know they did TMF, The Music Forever, Maze, formerly with Frankie Beverly, but it's a long title. I guess he don't want you saying anything. But Frankie still wants to perform. Is his health the greatest? No. It ain't been for years. And the band has carried him. Nobody wants to talk about that. The band has carried him for years. So I don't know what's going on with this new band. But Frankie says he is not retiring. He's planning on suing. And he wants to go on tour real soon. Beyonce kicked off her Renaissance tour. Yes, the Renaissance tour. Kicked off in Sweden. The costumes were amazing. A lot of the video that was shared had no sound. I thought that was funny. Because you know people pulled out their phones and started filming. Well, a lot of them had no sound. But you saw, you know, the theatrics and the gowns. Now, Beyonce wasn't doing a lot of dancing. She had foot surgery, and I'm sure the doctor said, you can't do all that. Your foot has to heal. Her dancers are, are dancing. They're dancing up a storm. But Beyonce has been moving a little cautiously since that foot surgery. Friday is a big day for Janelle Monae. Lipstick Lover is a new song. I know that we're playing it. I heard it every hour on the hour. It doesn't sound bad. And she knows how to get your attention because her body is incredible. Janelle Monet, remember back in the day, the Jamaica tourism, there was this gorgeous girl with these big breasts <laughs> in Jamaica. Well, Janelle Monet did a similar thing. Coming out of a pool, the breasts were free with a wet t-shirt. So she has been trending since yesterday, but she's got a new song, Lipstick Lover. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. She's promoting her new movie, Mother, which debuts tomorrow on Netflix. And Air, which was an excellent sports movie with Ben and Matt Damon, starts streaming tomorrow. She's always, oh, he's wonderful and we're great. And not that you can't be. But every, to me, they're trying too hard to prove. Oh, we're happy and we're in love and... It's great because the paparazzi keeps catching the foolishness. One incident was on the red carpet. He looked mad and she was mad. And then they realized, oh, we're in public. Let's kiss. Another incident, he was putting her in a car. Then he slammed that door like. Pfft. They try too hard to make us make it appear like. It's great with this perfect couple. And it's not. I think it's a clash of personalities. And a lot of times, Ben just doesn't seem happy. Her people put out stories that they're great and they're in love. And da, 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 da. But at the end of the day, do people care? That's the question. Robert De Niro. The baby is a month old. He's a dad again at 79. Gia Virginia Chin De Niro is one month old and cute as a button. The mother is Robert De Niro's latest girlfriend. Good morning, America. They have found new hosts for Amy Robach and TJ Holmes. Eva Pilgrim, who used to work in the Philadelphia market on our local ABC station. And DeMarco Morgan, he is the black guy that has been filling in ever since everything happened with Amy and TJ. They're going to be joining Dr. Jen Ashton, but Good Morning America 3. They've got their three hosts. We remember actress Jacqueline Zemar. For years, she played on General Hospital. She was Bobby, Luke's sister, the, the head of the nurses. She passed away at the age of 70 from cancer. This story is hard. Country star Jimmy Allen. Just last year, he was the Country Music Association Best New Artist. 
He was on Dancing with the Stars. I was so, like, excited when he answered one of my tweets because he was not bad on that show. But he is in a lot of trouble. Jimmy Allen is in a lot of trouble. A couple weeks ago, I told you he was divorcing his wife. She's pregnant with that third child. So I was like, how you filing for divorce and you're pregnant? What is going on that you are like, I got to be out of here? Well, Jimmy Allen is in a whole lot of trouble. He is being sued for sexual abuse from a former manager. The manager claims this went on for 18 months. Jimmy Allen says it was a consensual relationship. So he been cheating. He been, this girl that he married, I guess he said, I got, I got to get out of here. If you're pregnant and you say, I got to get out of here. You really got to get out of there. Um, the marriage ended strange. We know why. My question is, if you're grown, I think it's different if you're a child. She's in her early 20s. How did you let it go on? How did you let somebody, she keeps saying he raped her and stuff. For 18 months? For 18 months? Now you're telling your story? And it's not victim shaming. I really don't want to hear that. You're victim shaming. But for 18 months, hell, after the first time, we had to say something. He says it was consensual. So now it's what he said and what she said. I'm sure more people will listen to her, but Jimmy Allen, I don't know how you're going to get out of this. I really don't. Because you don't have the complexion for the protection. I don't know how he's going to get out of this. And the charges were alarming. I mean, it was like, I had to, I just had to turn away from it. I was like, oh my gosh. But Jimmy Allen, he says, you know, admits to cheating. It was consensual. She says sexual abuse. Now she is suing him. If y'all don't be careful out here with the reckless behavior and women, can't have the reckless behavior. And, and men are included too. She can't have that reckless behavior. Where do you think that's going to lead? Now she's suing him. His career is going to be over. It'd be like, Jimmy who? He was a rarity in country music. So accepted. And it's a mess. It's a mess. Will Anita Baker apologize to Babyface? Back in 2006, she showed her behind then. And this just goes to show you, if somebody shows you who they are that first time, you best believe them. You best believe that's how they really are. Oh, then I'm going to give them another chance. Oh, they changed. Babyface, I hope not only do you get an apology, but you think long and hard about continuing the tour with this woman. You don't need to hurt yourself or be bothered and stressed out. Rethink. Now, maybe you can't get out of it. But this tour has gotten off to a rough, rough start. Let's hope Babyface gets an apology. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss anything. And leave a comment because I would love to hear from you. You guys were hysterical about Lionel Richie. And a lot of you agree with me like, Lionel, stop lying. Y'all know I was upset because I love him. It's like a family member and they get in trouble. And you be sitting there like, what are you doing? What's going on? This whole week has been the aunties and uncles acting up. And we're going to a Mother's Day weekend. The aunties and uncles is just out here. It's just wild. Have a great one. Thanks so much for joining me this week. It's been something else. All I can say, the aunties and uncles are out here fighting. It's not cute, not knowing. And now you know. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.